Bots will be the last one. Eighth and last, 1,200 Hollywood bets, Cartsville, they sprinting away. Philly Spiel jumped awkwardly when the starters hit go, and Bernie's Dream is one of the trailers early on. Towards the outside, Cape Eagle, Procrastinator's right there in the centre, Philly Spiel. Pedro's got the red sleeves, Parktown the white sleeves and cap. And towards the inside, Tom Bombadil, Canadian Bolt, boxes towards the outside with the green cap. And Path to Fortune's about two or three lengths off the leader. Latabas further back, Gian Battista, Bernie's Dream, and then comes Final Destiny. As they move now towards the 500 meter marker, Procrastinator towards the outside, Cape Eagle, Pedro's right there, Philly Spill. Parktown, Botch is going for a split with the green cap. Towards the inside, Lataba. Towards the outside is Bernie's Dream in the orange. Then Final Destiny down the inside, Canadian Bolts. 200 metres to go, Philly Spiel the leader. Botch is on the outside, Lataba's on the inside. Then comes Procrastinator. Philly Spiel's the leader. Down the inside, Lataba's making a big race of it. Philly Spiel and Lataba, there's nothing in it. Lataba on the inside from Philly Spiel. Lataba won it. Philly Spiel or Botch? for second and third and then path to fortune. So the winner is number eight, Lataba. And Lataba ends our toe favourite at 370 and wins it. And number eight, Lataba, Shane Humby, the Oratorio for Jeffrey Van Leer and wins it three parts of a length. It's toe favourite, 370 second. Philly Spiel will just make second number nine at six ten a place. Third to Bots and fourth to Path to Fortune and then came Final Destiny. Philly Spiel jumped awkwardly and sideways and then showed pace and uh, runs a very good race back in that second position. The further back is Cape Eagle, Procrastinator. As we look at the head-on, Philly Spiel with the blue cap in the centre is the leader and Lataba three off the left-hand side. The blue blinkers is coming home strongly and number eight Lataba is is going to be victorious. This is win number five from 28 and bred by Jeffrey Van Leer as well who owns. So that's the running of the eighth and last from Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Until tomorrow, Craig Peters signing off. has come through to win and uh, will now be a five-time winner this individual winning well with on last time out well done to you Shane and your team and Corsi uh, the gentleman that takes care of uh, uh, Lataba well done to him he sadly excused his unfortunately uh, excused himself to take care of his horse and uh, Jeffrey van Lawn, well played to you sir well done uh, with the, the, this win and of course Kalinda is going to represent the stable Come to Kalina, well done, nice win, back to back as well. Very good, yes. So we were a bit worried about the soft conditions because before a while back he never used to enjoy it, but he's obvi obviously overcome what issues he had about the soft, so very happy. He's building up a good relationship with the young kid as well. Yeah, I think he's enjoying having the weight off the back. I mean, he's a big, strong horse, so I don't know why it matters, but obviously he prefers it. <laughs> he's uh, in a good space, and uh, well done to uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Van Lawn. Jeffrey, I've had the pleasure of interviewing him in the past as well. This horse is in a good space for him. Yes, and he comes from a very good family out of the Mayor Fair, Rosalind. He's got a baby on the sale coming up now, so people should look at that because it's a really good, solid family. Well, give our best to Shane and to Jeff and, of course, to yourself, Kalinda, and the entire team back home. Well done. Nice way to end off the day. Thank you, Dees. Well done. Let's get uh, young uh, Donald in. And uh, I mentioned that uh, he's now two from two on the Zorse. Yeah, it's amazing that uh, you sat on him on the right time because I remember that penultimate run, you were the horse that got the better of him. Yes, yes, very much. I got the opportunity to ride him next time out and he, he held on there, he kept it up and this time he just did the same. What's the trick with him? I mean, you've now got him down to a fine knot the way he needs to be ridden. Uh, last time I got to the front a bit early, I was a bit nervous for that, but the trick is just get in there as late as possible, just where he's happy. You guys were spread across the track, but uh, you guys decided we're going to stick to the inside of the course and that's where the horses found a better finish. Yes, I think the middle is the best going and just why not change it? How many winners now? Are you still claiming the four? You're getting close to that uh, shedding the tag? Yes, 13 winners now. 
Almost there. Well, it's going well, Donald, and um, enjoying it, I presume, you know, uh, one day at a time, winners, experience, opportunities, all going according to plan. Yes, all good. Can't complain. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to the Academy, Mr. Ami, for all the support, Mr. Jeff and Leah, and my sponsors, PAG Cleaning Service. PAG Cleaning. I see you've got a sponsor there as well. So nice way to end it off. Safe travels back home. Thank you very much, sir. Well done to Donald. A nice way for him to end it off here with Lataba closing off the pick six. That's horse number eight. And uh, well played if you find yourself standing in the winner's queue or in the winner's line waiting to collect after the running of race number eight. It's been an absolute pleasure working alongside Kevin Shea, of course, Craig Peters in the commentary box upstairs and the entire Gold Circle TV team. From myself, Dees Dynan, enjoy what's left of your weekend racing tomorrow at Hollywood Bed Scravel where we race on the poly track. Until next time, you take care. Salani Gashle.